Want me to go see if Piotr's home? You know, he's been down lately. How can you tell? Yeah, he's cynical, but this is worse than that. I wonder... What? Well, okay. Figure it this way. The guy is, what, 80 years old? 100? 200? And he's alone. He's always alone. Doesn't seem to bother him. He never says anything about it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, I would have agreed with you. Now, I'm not so sure. Tell you what. You want to do me a huge favor? Great. Go get him, bring him back here, but only when you're ready. Don't say yes till you're sure you're ready to take off. He's making it seem like it's a life and death situation. We're just going to somebody's house. Uh, let's see, Mike, I'm at your disposal. Mike, I'm at your disposal. Tell me what you want me to do, and I'm there. Great. Now, you know where Piotr lives, right? A couple of miles down no. the pike? Sure. Oh. Good. Hop in your truck and head over there. If Piotr's there, see if you can get him to come back to the bar. If he won't come... See if you can find out why, but don't pry, you know? Eddie's got me well trained. Now, if he's not there, this is bad. See if you can find any clue as to where he might be. Why are you so worried about him? He told me something in confidence that I don't want to have to share with you unless there's no way around it. Enough said? Yeah, I'm on my way. Jake? I'll be back in a flash. Jake. Hope so. Let's go. So at this point, uh, we can talk to some more people, but let's not. Um, let's just get right on the mission. Look at this guy. This guy always frightened me as a kid. He looks, uh, he looks like grown-up Chucky, gone terribly, terribly wrong. So let's go out the door, and we have to find our car, um, which I wish was the motorcycle, but it's not. It's actually the truck. So let's. Uh, I think it's the truck. It's the truck. You hop in your truck and drive a couple miles down 25A to Piotr's place. Which I always pronounced as Peter when I didn't have the talkie, so I guess I'm a little dense. Um, trunk. There's a telephone right there. Okay. Oh, okay then. I'm gonna knock on the door first. What the? My god, there's a lot of commands! Okay, let's look at it first. Uh, this is the front door to Piotr's house. Open. It won't open. Unlock. You don't have the key. Jiggle. It jiggles. <laughs> uh, pound on. You vent your merciless wrath on the front door. And it does nothing. Uh, remove hinges. I love this. Oh, oops, that's my bed. Uh, the hinges are on the inside. Uh, burning down the house. It's flame proof. Jimmy. It's Jimmy proof. Shutter. Love cheese. Slide under. Uh, you must be thinking of that game, Plastic Man's Cross Time Saloon. Naw. Please don't chew the scenery. Nom 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 nom. Uh, chip away. It's chip proof and Jimmy proof and Dale proof. Deliberately, <laughs> you ignore the door. The moment your head is turned away, you think you see it open out of the corner of your eye. But when you look at it again, it's closed. <laughs> it's mocking you. Uh, let's talk to... There isn't any way to get you to open up at all, is there? That's right. I was beginning to suspect as much. Thanks, anyway. It's all right. <laughs> Don't talk to us! I I'm very tickled, because I haven't heard any of these voices, so I'm very amused right now. Uh, let's see if we're, uh, if we have superpowers and we can walk through. You consider walking through the wall, but then you decide that you don't have that much control over the individual atoms that make up your body. Oh, come on, Jake. Get it together, my man. Have some more control. Uh, let's talk to this fine young citizen. You try to strike up a friendly conversation with the driver by commenting on how late he's working. Do you see anybody working? He asks. Then his brow furrows. You're not from wa Y.E., are you? After you assure him that you don't even know what Y.E. is, he explains that York Easter has been cracking down on the drivers for every little violation, and he never knows when he's being spied on. You ask him about Pewter. All he knows is that the owner is supposedly in or on his way to the Transylvanian, Transylvanian Alps in Romania, and he's having his stuff shipped there overnight at tremendous expense. So Pewter um, is m moving, and we don't want that. So let's pry into his personal life and try to get him to not move. Oh, it's been a while since I've played this game, but I'm going to take... Um, 
I'm going to take the antenna. I remember you can do that. Uh, you pull the antenna out of the hole. There goes your high fidelity sound system. Yeah, right. That truck is a pile. And now there's a phone, a red phone glaring at me. So I know that has to be something. So let me, uh, let me look at it. It's a phone. Who would have thought? Uh, let's try using it. The window's still closed. Let's open the window. The window seems to give just slightly. Uh, let's try it again. The window definitely gives a tiny bit, but it's stuck as if it's been painted shut. Um, I think I can just like use my antenna. Whoops. It's the rusty... Oh, okay. Uh, how do I use it? Uh, maybe I can window... Uh, break window... That's a last resort. How do I use stuff? Uh, no. I, I'm failing already? No! Oh. Oh. How did I do that? Okay, hang on. I'm going to save my game. Even though, as you recall, I don't have to save my game because it'll always spit me back out. But let's, um, let's save it anyway. How do you spell Piotr? Why am I failing? Peter! Okay. <laughs> that works. Okay, so I clicked on the antenna. Uh, okay, click on the inventory item, then click on what you want to use it. Oh, you can't do that through. But I thought I opened it a bit. Window. Maybe if I just open it a little bit. Ah, putting a little elbow into it, the window finally slides uneasily open a few inches. So click on the antenna. Click on the phone. You pull the telephone closer. Now you can reach it. I don't have anyone's numbers. But, um... Oh, wait. It's a phone you've been jerking around. Kinky. Uh, York Easter. Let's look for a telephone number. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Ah ha ha. You slide the ramp into the truck. The driver looks very annoyed. I'm gonna look at this bumper sticker. Um, let's see. The bumper sticker says, How's my driving? Call Klondike. 5-0931. I'm gonna write that down. 5-0931. Good. The driver, obviously peeved, rolls the ramp back out. <laughs> Guess he showed you. Okay. I'm going to call that number, and uh, I'm going to call York Easter and leave a very, very disgruntled message about that man. Because he got peeved at me. Uh, use. Dial... Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Dial 911. Thank you for calling the Suffolk County 911 uh -oh. emergency line. Due to new gun control no. laws passed by the liberal administration, which are making it difficult for law-abiding citizens to defend themselves, all our representatives are currently <laughs> serving other customers. Please call back during non-peak hours, and we will be happy to assist you with all your emergency needs. This message sponsored by emergency. the NRA and does not necessarily reflect the views <laughs> of your local telephone company or legend entertainment. That's, that's cute. Okay. Uh, use dial zero. What happens if I dial zero? You dial the operator who angrily barks that service is supposed to be turned off at this number. She swears to the heavens that she'll have the service off within two to four hours come high or hell water or her name is an operator 12. She hangs up on you. Um, let's dial Thank info. Thank you for using <laughs> ATCI. What city? It's a Klondike exchange. KL5. What city would that be? We'd need the other four digits oh, to determine this is for a good sure. Idea. That's 0931. One moment. That number is KL50931. I already know that. I can connect <laughs> you for an additional five, five bucks. dollars. No thanks. Okay, I guess I didn't actually need to do that. That was the same voice as the other number. <laughs> this is the same voice as the uh, 911 dispatcher. I don't know why I have this number, but I'll try. This is Jake. If you don't mind talking to a machine, leave a message. Otherwise, just try call me again myself. Later. Hey, me. Oh, this is me. Just enjoying being in two <laughs> places at once. I should be home soon. I don't think I'll be too much longer. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'm amused. Uh, let's uh, let's for real. York Easter oh. van lines. Don't strain on your next big move. Think of York Easter first. Oh my God! It's Columbia from Rocky Horror. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, register a complaint. I'd like to register a complaint about one of your drivers. I see. Well, we'll be happy to contact him immediately if you can give me the license number of the truck. Oh, oh sorry, shit. I didn't catch I'm it. I'm stupid. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but 
and this is a very big but. I can't be sure which of our drivers is at fault without all right, the okay, license all right, number. Okay. But should this Thank you. I look at the Quite all right. Hindsight is You're very lucky to be in Dr. Frankenfurter's laboratory. All right. Uh, let's push that in. I assume this is the license. That's a bumper sticker. Where's this? Where's the license plate? Is this the license plate? Oh, let's peel it off. You tug on the bumper sticker and a tiny fraction tears off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not done yet, dude. Give me a few more seconds. A few more seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not pummeling me. Um, exactly how many tiny... <laughs> <laughs> no! What do I do? Push. Uh, let's just look at. Well. Hang on. York Easter. Um. I'm gonna talk to him. He gives you an impatient look. He'd rather eat than converse. Uh, how do I get him. <sighs> I need to <laughs> drive his van. You swing into the cab. There are no keys in the ignition. Just as you start to search for them, the driver appears at the door and pulls them out by the ankle. You stumble to your feet and pulls you out by the ankle. You stumble to your feet, dust yourself off, and put them in place with a big hrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr